Day 5, Tuesday, Sayo Kuzai. Whatever that means. Central Hospital. Ota, I'm so sorry for worrying you. What do you mean? Your mother retracted her confession. <sighs> I'm so glad. Yes, yes. But Mom, why did you think I did it? About that. I explained to Ota. On Sunday night, Mayumi was following the van driven by Ota in a taxi. But when the van was hijacked in the Famisto parking lot, Mayumi was at another convenience store nearby buying some chocolate. Because of that, she didn't see what happened. That's why Mayumi thought Ota was still in the van when it drove away. So she kept following it. The van drove all over Tokyo and eventually wound up in the warehouse district near the docks. Mayumi got out of the taxi and followed the van on foot. The van was later found at the Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Mayumi walked into the warehouse and discovered the grisly scene. A polar bear plucking out Iris's left eye? I was so terribly frightened. I panicked and ran. I'm sure that's when I dropped the chocolate. And I ran away from the warehouse as fast as I could. I just kept running and running. But while I was running, I had a thought. Maybe that polar bear was Ota. Because at the time, I thought Ota was the one driving the van. If Ota brought Iris to the warehouse, then Ota must have been the one in the suit. That's what I was thinking anyway. So that's why. I'm so sorry that Mom doubted you, Ota. No, no, I understand. It's my fault for making you worry. Ota... But there's one thing I don't get. Why did you buy that chocolate when you were following me? Oh, because... You liked Odoroki Man chocolate when you were young, right, Ota? Yeah. I was like the number one or two collector of the stickers in my elementary school class. Ah, I guess that's why it matters, because they come with specific stickers he was collecting? I stuck some of my duplicates all around the diner, too. You and Mayumi have strong memories of that chocolate, right? Yeah, but I guess they're not all sweet memories. They're like chocolate, you know? Bittersweet. Makes my heart hurt a little. I mean, only like really dark chocolate is bitter. Most chocolate is just sweet. <laughs> That's not it! Oh honey, I thought you liked the Momonoki Man chocolate. No, I told you! It's Odoroki Man! Oh, sorry. Your mom can be such a dummy sometimes. You're not just a dummy, you're a super dummy idiot! Oh, well, you're right, sweetie. I'm sorry. I'm a big dummy. Imagine, like, not shutting that shit down. <laughs> you gotta, if your kid calls you a big fucking dummy idiot, you don't go, yeah, child, you're so right. You go, don't fucking talk to your parent like that. They're just gonna become such a brat if you let them talk to you like that. I'll buy you a real Momonoki Man soon. Stupid! It's not Momonoki Man, it's Odoroki Man! After I yelled at her, Mom immediately went to buy me another chocolate. Jesus. My dad came back from buying some ingredients at the same time and they ran into each other. My dad really let me have it. Rightly so. How dare you speak to your mother like that? Because mom is stupid. You're stupid to call your mother stupid. Uh... Your mother bought you that to make you happy. You need to think about how she feels. I didn't raise you like that. But, but... When she comes back, you apologize. Do you understand? My dad told me to apologize as soon as mom came back. But the guilt... I hurt my mother, you know? That guilt in my heart, it didn't go away. Even after I apologized to her. After that, things got awkward with mom. But a few days later, my dad came up with an idea. 
Hey, Ota, how about this? You know Mother's Day is coming up. Why don't we get a gift for your mom, hmm? A gift? That was the first time I had ever heard my dad say something like that. Ever heard your dad say, let's get a gift? <laughs> what? You know how mom always takes care of us. We should think of a way to pay her back. <laughs> let's buy her a knife. I'm sure my dad was trying to clear the air between all of us. So, on Mother's Day, I used my New Year's money I saved up to buy my mom that flower knife. And my dad saved up a little money to buy the floral apron. And when mom got her gifts, she started bawling, like full-on crying. Oh, you boys. I don't deserve all this. Thank you, thank you. You do deserve it, mom. I'm proud that you're my mom. Right, Dad? Oh, um, uh, yes. Mom is the best mom in the world. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Say cheese! Sorry. I lost track of time. What were we talking about again? The Odoroki Man chocolate. Why she bought the chocolate in the middle of tailing you. Tailing? Mom. It could be due to her memory disorder. It is possible that her thought process was once again short-circuited. Aww. Ota, I'm just going out on a limb here. Huh? Earlier I looked inside Mayumi's head. Inside her head? She was thinking of nothing but you. Her head was full of memories of you. Mayumi just wanted you to come back, Ota. So she bought that chocolate. The chocolate you loved as a kid. She thought she could get you back home with it. That's why I believe, in Mayumi's head, you're still young, Ota. Huh? I don't know. I could be wrong. No, you're right, Date. That's why my mom bought the chocolate. She wanted her little kid back. Mm. Feels bad. Fucking dementia, man. I'm sorry. Who are you again? I'm Date. I'm Ota's friend. Ota's friend? Is that right? I no. I hope you two get along. No, I fucking hate him. Oh, Mom. Mayumi is sitting quietly. What happens I now? I was always so selfish. I made my mom go through such hard times. So from now on, I'm going to support her the way she supported me. I'll do anything. I'll deliver newspapers or be a janitor or anything. I'll work as hard as I can to make sure my mom can rest easy. What about your dream of being an author? Well, of course I'm not going to give up on that. But I'll set my sights a little smaller. I'll start by writing a short story. Let me read it when you're done. Of course. One last thing. Oh, I forgot to tell you something important. Something important? I heard the nurses talking before I came in here. Iris is awake. R really? Yeah, she's due to be transferred from the ICU to the general ward. Can we go see her then? Thank God. You saved her life, you know. Maybe, just maybe. Huh? Maybe what? <laughs> Nothing. See you, kid. Is Iris your girlfriend? Yeah, I'll introduce you next time. No! She's a great girl. Oh my, I'm looking forward to it. At no point has is she, she ever said to that. Is she be your financier? Oh, maybe I should clean up a bit first. 
finance, sir. Oh, fiance. Oh, yes! Yes, that's it! <laughs> Iris, please, please you're mom. better than this. <laughs> Never agree to that. <laughs> Date, there are still many loose ends in this investigation. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> Looks like another all-nighter. Oh! <laughs> okay, credits? We don't even go get- we don't even go to see Iris or anything? Okay. So, new timeline then? Oh wait, no. Back at police headquarters? Has there been any progress in this Jima investigation? None. Zero clue. Not exactly. We have two clues. Two? Two points of information. Why did it play credits if we're just gonna keep going? I don't know. <laughs> what? But they may not connect directly to the murders. What are the two clues? Point one. This may be easier to see than explain. I sent a video to the boss's PC. Could you check there, please? Alright. Boss went to her desk and moved her mouse. I stood next to her and looked at the monitor. What's this? It's from Sunday night. Yes, after Date was beaten by Ota at Matsushita Diner. Tessa, wait! Uh, I'll get the car. Right, I forgot about this. There's still something really weird about this scene. Mayumi runs out here. You witch! Calls her a witch, and then Iris just there, walks up to it. her. I noticed this earlier as well. Do you see the walk on the floor beside Iris and Mayumi? Yeah, what about it? Look closely. The bottom part is curved. Do you notice anything in the reflection? Iris and Mayumi? Yes. I have prepared an enlarged and processed version of the image. Boss, the next video. You witch! Oh! You you stay away from my boy! Tessa! What's wrong? Did something happen? No. Everything's fine. I okay, knew it! Let's go. I fucking knew something weird happened there. That was so sus. She just like walked up to her in the original one. It was like she just walked up to her. They didn't say anything. There was just a big pause and then turned around. That, I knew there was something sus about that. Hey, what's this? So Iris had the knife all along. Oh, you know what? That's that, They actually misdirected me so hard because with all the stuff about the dementia and the chocolate and everything, I'd, it completely left my mind. That the knife was there too, being used by the criminal, and we didn't know how that happened. It completely, like, slipped out of my mind that that was still a major unanswered question. So Iris had it. And I- oh man. Oh man. <laughs> so... Huh. Well, that's how it got there then. I mean... I don't think that really changes much about what we already know. It just means that the, like, the, the uh, my initial reasoning would just be, okay, so she had a knife on her, but when she was being tied up and everything, they found it, and the criminal took it, and then had it on him to use against Sota later, kind of thing. Doesn't feel like there has to be anything more to it than that, but there might be. Iris has the kitchen knife? The video continues, but this should be enough. Iris took the knife and left the diner with Ota. 
But if Ota's testimony is true, the polar bear had the kitchen knife. Yeah, but the polar bear tied up Iris, so probably checked her pockets, make sure she doesn't have anything to cut her ties with to escape, like, I don't know, a knife? Maybe it was taken off of Iris when she was kidnapped. Yeah. At the Femisto parking lot? Possibly. Whatever. We can think about it later. You said you had two clues. Yeah, what's the other one? I have learned new information. More thorough autopsy results of Renju's body have revealed something. An object in his intestines. What? An object? A clump of organic matter. Because it was partially digested, it took significant time to analyze. Well, what was it? Shoko Nadami's eyeball. Uh, what? Motherfucker ate her eye? What? So did he kill her? How else would he have her eyeball? Unless he killed her. What? Ota root end. What the fuck? Renju ate her eyeball, but then he died. So is this, maybe it's not one killer? Maybe it's a chain of killers? Like, Renju killed her, but then someone else killed him? Did Iris kill him? I don't know whether to count Iris because of how different hers was with it being live streamed and everything. Because no one else's was live streamed. If you do count Iris and it is a chain of killers, then it would be Renju killed Shoko, then Iris killed Renju, then, well, the next person to die is So. So that would mean So was in the polar bear suit and killed Iris and then So was killed by someone else. Or if you cut Iris out that chain, then... Renju killed Shoko, and uh, then So killed Renju. Because I don't know if I don't know if the Iris one is the same killer just because of how different it was. But huh, huh, okay. So that was Root Ota or whatever it was called. Um. So where was the split? Sinking in the Swain? What one was this again? Oh right, that was. Ota's, uh, thing, and we could choose the other shelf to go to. Right. Well, I guess that's what we're doing then, huh? I mean... The only other split is the one all the way back at the start, and I'm leaving that for last. I wanna, I wanna see, I wanna progress down these paths. We did this one first, came to a dead end there. That was when they both died, and then we went down this route, where we saved them, and then this route where Oto made one decision in the thing, and then we're going to make the other decision here, see where that goes, and then once we've exhausted all routes here, that's when we then start going down this path. And I imagine that there's going to be at least like three branches or something going off this, the same way there's like, we chose to go down here, and there's one, two, three. So I assume if we go down the other side, there's probably also going to be like three there as well. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, okay, so let's do this and let's choose the other path. Why the fuck was- why the fuck would he eat her eyeball though? What the shit? Okay, there we go. Okay, so this one, we needed to go to Iris first, right, to get some uh, time things, because everything else was, like, super expensive. Iris. So, ears. And. Is on the throw ice. And. Iris is on wake her. There we go. That's all three. Lovely jubbly. Now, icy floor. We break this. The ice uh, with a punch. Uh, I 
I guess that's just one second that. Okay, uh, escort him to the other shelf. So this last time we did that. So this is the split. So we want to get him to the red shelf this time, which is over there, but the red shelf doesn't have anything on it. So it's this plate and this oil drum that we can interact with. A plate attached. Uh, breathe on was what worked the other time. So let's try that again. D. Yeah, D's don't really do it for me. They have to be at least an F. There is no end to your desire. Well, back to work. There seems to be nothing here. Okay. That didn't do shit. So it's the oil drum then? An oil drum, though it is lying down. Roll, fill, smell. Roll. Too heavy to roll. Ugh. Oh no. Cool, okay, got it. Shing! No, I don't want to die. I eventually stopped thinking. That's Tessa! Stand your ground! Oda Matsushita cowers to no one! I have okay. to fight back with something! Like that thing that just fell next to you, maybe? Possibly, perhaps? Agent Date, you've got five minutes. A remote control. It fell when Ota ran into the shelf. Remote control for the forklift, I guess? Uh... Press the button. Press the button! Hmm, nothing is happening. Maybe there's no power. Shit. Power board. It appears to be a power panel. Throw something. 240 seconds. Jesus, there's some really expensive stuff in here. This is an ice cold one. Hit the switch. Iba, aim for the switch. Yeet. Position target in the center and hit the switch. Position target in the center and hit the switch. Yeet. Nice. Bum, 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 bum. Now it will move. I, I can't stand. I'm weak. Did he really help Iris like that? Regardless of the truth, right now I am Ota's last hope. I have to help him up. Interesting. Like the other route, the first route we did, he was like very confident in his own abilities the entire time, and then this route, he is like the opposite. This is annoying. Brave hero, true identity revealed. You've got four minutes. A remote control. Now can we press the button? Here it goes. I hear some sounds, but no response. God damn it. I'm not sure I should press it. Ota might need to. Uh oh. Yeah, Ota. Ota looks frightened. He cannot stand. Uh. 
If he's frightened, we should calm him. Ota, first, you calm down. The ghost inside me whispered. That's right. I was ready for this when I first stepped foot inside. From start to finish, I'm a climax all the way! Sure, bro. Yeah, that's... Yep, yeah, mm-hmm. You're a climax, mate. Got him. Unmask him while he's down. Unmask him while he's down. Please. Are you going to do it? Please unmask him. Data, you've hit the limit. Time's up. Wait. No. I can almost make out their face. Don't you fucking Junior, dare. I had so down. much... I had so much Stop. time left. Stop it! I had so much time left, you fucking bitch! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Motherfucker. Gosh darn. Day four, Monday, see you guy. What were you thinking? You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes. Any longer and you risk getting your mind completely taken over by the subject. I know. No, you clearly don't. This isn't just about you, Date. If your consciousness erodes inside of Somnium, you put the subject in danger as well. If I may? Fortunately, there were no abnormalities detected in the brainwaves after the sink. Date and Ota both read normal. Although, the timing was really close. What was I supposed to do? You saw it, boss. You too, Pewter. I was about to see the culprit's face. Not necessarily. We need to verify that Ota did, in fact, see the culprit's face. That's the only way it could have ended up in his Somnium. Well, Ota? Huh? You saw the killer's face at the warehouse, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't see their face. If I did, I would have told you guys already. You see? I mean, I did try to get a look at them when the polar bear fell over. Yeah, and that's when you got knifed. We literally just saw this, Date. They look like they were knocked out, so I tried to grab the head part. But as soon as I did, I got stabbed in my gut. That is what we witnessed in his Somnium. Yeah. Pewter, about my brainwaves and otters. It's all right. As I mentioned earlier, both your brainwaves are normal. However, I'm sure there was some overload. You should go home and get some rest. Alright, future is calm as usual. Offer a genuine apology. I know it was dangerous to sink past the time limit. That was my fault, and I'm sorry. Are you really sorry? Yes. Then you owe me some Dom P at my favorite club in Kabuki Cho. Sure. Or you can lick my shoes. Uh, pass on that. Either or. 
I vowed to never apologize for anything ever again. <laughs> what the fuck? Boss looks more upset than angry right now. Uh, why are you hiding a knife? Because I was scared. Scared? The killer could come here to finish the job. But you didn't get a good look at their face, right? But they don't know that. I had it prepared just in case. You know what I'm talking about, right, Date? Preparing in advance in case you might need it. Like making sure your room is nice and clean before you go to a party. Oh, sorry. You probably don't have any experience with that. <laughs> wow. I have more experience than you. Uh, about the hook and the polar bear's leg. Ota, let me ask you something. When you were fighting the polar bear back at the warehouse, did the crane hook get stuck on the polar bear's leg? Now that you mention it, maybe it did. Maybe? It's like I told you, I don't really remember much. With all the tension and excitement and fear and adrenaline, my mind just went blank. But now that we're talking about it, I remember. Yeah, no doubt about it. The crane hook got stuck on the polar bear's left leg. And then, when the hook got pulled out, blood sprayed all over. So some of the blood on the floor isn't yours, it's theirs, so we could potentially get some DNA from that? Date, I checked all of the hospitals in the metropolitan area. None have a record of a patient admitted after 3 a.m. with a wound to the left leg. If what I saw in Somnium is how it happened in real life, that was a deep wound. He definitely would have needed first aid. Perhaps a friend or accomplice helped them. You think there are multiple killers? That is not what I said. They may have helped the culprit, but not necessarily been involved in the crimes. I relayed that information to Boss and Pewter. Oh. So we know that the culprit has a deep wound on their left leg. That information could be crucial in catching them. Date, get out there. Look for people with an injured left leg. How exactly? Can't you just go ask around or something? Uh -huh. Are you serious? Do you know how many people live in this city? Uh, what's happening? What? Is this because I stayed in Somnium too long? Date, what is the matter? Hey, are you all right? That's not good. Day five, Tuesday, Sai Sai. Date residence. Hey. How's it going? <gasps> hey. This is... Oh, you're alive. Suki? I'm alive. What happened? You drank too much at the club and passed out. Is that what they're saying? Liar. I remember everything until I collapsed in the control room. You did something dangerous during the sink last night, didn't you? Maybe. Your brain got overloaded and you passed out. That's what Pewter and Boss said. You met them? They brought you over. They said to let you sleep it off because you were tired from the investigation. All right, okay. Mizuki's bed, we're in her room, okay. Large speakers, the speakers themselves are actually mostly hollow. Nice, got a vinyl player and everything. She's an audiophile, cool, cool. Filing cabinet, keep a bunch of documents there, cork board. Oh, this is just the lounge, I guess. It's not her room, I didn't realize. I guess it's not a very big place, huh? Fridge, kitchen, three seat sofa. Anything else? Armchair, bench press. 
trash can, computer. Okay, that's about it. Well, that seems like a pretty good place. Oh, wait, what about this? A door rabbit? It's a door rabbit, a stuffed rabbit. I gave it to Mizuki on her birthday. Aw. That seems like a pretty good place to leave off for today. We are now on our third branch of the timeline. Uh, but it branches off after both of them survived. So, interesting, interesting. We'll see what we learn from this one. I wonder, like... I wonder how it's gonna, how it's all gonna work out at the end. Because, like, we're getting additional information from the different timelines. But, unless there's going to be some plot element introduced where Date himself can hop timelines uh, and learn this information, then it's only the player that has the necessary information and not the actual characters doing the investigation. So, I'm very curious, like, how it's going to end up all getting figured out by the characters when they're only going to have the information from one timeline and not be able to add all the information together from all of them like we have. Like, yeah, you know, like, we know people that it cannot be in one timeline because, like, stuff happens whilst we know where people are, but then you jump to another timeline and suddenly they'd be suspects again for the, those characters. You know what I mean. It's, I'm, I'm curious how it's going to all come together at the end, but I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really loving it. So, uh, yeah, we will see. We will see. Looking forward to playing more. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more I, The Somnium Files. Thanks for watching. See you then.